Hi, welcome back to Felix Arwell. Today's project is a stool, a little short stool, perfect for a child. All right, uh, it's, it's been prime. I did that last week. So step two, after the stool was prepared, the next step is to add the base coat paint, which has been prepared it's one part white liquid text and two parts flow troll a little over two parts of flow troll and and that all depends on what kind of viscosity you want in your paint i like mine to have a little tiny bit of body not too liquid not too fluid turquoise by liquid text i'll be utilizing that golden red by golden gold by golden iridescent it's an iridescent gold and of course white all right uh, my cups being prepared there is some silicone well actually instead of silicone i use the flow aid by liquitex that's what i use in this particular project I'm adding a little circular motion to my wrist to create a different pattern. It's time to blow the bubbles. It's best to blow them before you start stretching the paint. Moving slowly, which means uh, the paint is not as fluid. Things get less messy, but it moves much slower. I feel I don't lose as much paint, but that's just my, my taste. For some projects, I like it really fluid. I sped up the video here. I think it looks a bit boring, so I prepare in a small cup. I added red and gold, and that's all I'm adding because what I had in mind is red. I wanted to see more red. I wanted red to be the dominant color. I should have used less white. But anyhow, I can always add on. And that's what I'm doing here. I have to be extra careful to no lo not lose certain sections that I really like on, on the top of this stool. Once again, the video is running a bit faster. And paint's moving ever so slowly. And what's going on right under that blob of red? I don't want to lose that either. Now with this bamboo stick, I'm adding a new pattern. It's a new way of, uh, a different way of playing with the paint, creating a pattern. At this distance, you cannot really tell what's going on on the composition, but I'll get up close. Now I'm swiping, dragging some of that paint ever so slightly. I have to be really gentle and just let the knife slide on the paint not p applying pressure because if I apply pressure that will ruin it. Thank you. 
I'm going to add one last detail, which is a little swirl. Swirling it up. A couple of them. I felt it needed something there. So here's our close up. Let's see what happened. I'm loving that gold, definitely. And that new pattern. All right, all right. Let's see what happens after it dries up. And now here it is, all nice and dry. Well, if you did like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to see many more interesting projects, things to do with this technique. And I have a Felix Arwell Facebook page. It's in the description box down below. You will find the link to it as well as the link to my Instagram where you can see photos of all this work. Thank you. Bye-bye.